Hey, 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 all of you beautiful souls. Today's lesson, how do I reconnect with life? How do I have more aliveness and bliss in my life? You know, this is one of my favorite questions. And the answer, guys, is there's so many different practical pieces of advice. And I, I, I would definitely, definitely say the, the main answer is just having balance in your life and harmony in your life. And I think this is the one paradigm that a lot of people forget, right? And and being through being mindful of your thoughts, right? You only have free will when you truly discover yourself on the inside, right? And then you have just one voice in your free will. But this allows for mindfulness to occur. And guys, during your mindfulness, I, I truly believe balance and harmony is not something that a lot of people are, you know, being self aware of. And it's really sad because some of these self help gurus, right, they 90% per of their day and their week is just spent on working and working and working and working and you look at them in the eyes and they're just you know dying on the inside and they're miserable right and it's just really sad because a lot of them have children little daughters and so on I'm not going to say any names that they're just neglecting and it's, very, it's a very egotistic driven mission selfish mission right and anyways, let's focus on the solution, though, guys. And oftentimes, you know, we get a little too, you know, driven over to, you know, maybe the Netflix side of things and the, the, the pleasure side of things. And there's a beautiful quote that says, you know, difficult times create strong men and good times. And good times create weak men. <laughs> right? It's kind of like this loop, right? The good times are, are creating weak men and then the weak men create bad times, and those bad times create strong men, <laughs> right? So it's about balancing it out to where, you know, we're not getting thrown over to one side. And I think oftentimes people, you know, they get a little too moved over maybe to the binge watching or the Netflix, and that's fine, but it's about coming back and just getting reconnected to your, your, your passions in life, right? Your, the things you enjoy in life. And it doesn't always have to be, you know, some big shot career or you know anything crazy you know maybe you have a passion and enjoyment you know for chess or music the violin or the piano or the harp the harp is a lot more difficult than it seems and you know swimming or you know gymnastics whatever it may be ballet or temporary dance whatever you just something you enjoy and have a passion for and it's just oftentimes reconnecting with these passions and then you take it to the next level and you find other individuals other life other beings human beings life right life forms and you actually go out and you enjoy you know your temporary dance you enjoy your you know chess or whatever you go join a chess club and you enjoy this passion enjoyment with other individuals and that's where you really start to to start to come back to life, start to feel meaning again in your life, right? And obviously, you know, we've all heard it a million times, you know, there's exercise, you know, and it really is important, guys, exercise and health. You have more energy, you feel more alive during the day, you just overall feel great and happy, you know, your relationships, your sex, everything is better in your life. If you just take care of your health and your exercise. And I'm not saying, you know, we, you need to be a health guru or go become, get your, you know, nutrition, you know, certificate, personal training certificate. No, I'm saying be, be more balanced. I'm not, you can even have a couple of cheat meals during the week, but just have more balance to where, you know, 60, 70 percent of your meals are healthy, are good, right? Five days out of the week, you are going to the gym. You don't have to go every single day like a, you know, fitness YouTuber. But five out of seven days, go and have a personal trainer, download an app, you know, pay five, ten bucks for an app and download an app and actually get some meaningful workouts in, right? And this is what I mean, right? And when then this is where the unbalance starts to happen and, you, you know, there's no one, one out of seven days you're working out. Technically, only one out of, you know, your 14 or, you know, 21 meals are healthy. Right? This is where things start to get unbalanced. And this is, this is where you start to, you need to rebalance. And you need to do it by actually planning it out. <laughs> right? don't, just, don't just talk about it. Right? We can all talk and talk and talk. But you need to actually plan it out. You need to actually write it out. 
And this is why it's so good to take those passions, those things you enjoy in life, to an actual community level and find individuals that can also help support you and also help motivate you, right? I'm always here for you guys. If you ever need to leave a comment or shoot me an email, shoot me an email, shoot me a comment. I'm always here to listen. A lot of people, though, they just like to vent to me or they just like to, you know, talk about the things that are bothering them. But, guys, we need to be solution-oriented. I'm not saying I don't respect. I respect all of your emotions. I read all the comments, you know, good or bad. But we need to also, you know, rebuttal and focus on the solutions and find that balance at the same time, right? I'm always here if any of you guys need that support or need that re that, that um, direction. But we need to also be mindful of the solutions, guys. And as I said, guys and ladies, write out an actual goal or a plan, right? On how, how you're going to find that balance and do the things that you enjoy in life again, guys. And not just do the things that you enjoy in life. As I said, guys, exercise, is so important health is so important and also sleep guys i think sleep is one of the most underestimated things and it really comes and becomes a lot better as you begin to exercise it's it's funny how right, all of these natural things that are completely free have so much of an impact in all of our life Sleep is cheap. Sleep is free, <laughs> right? A membership to the gym is like 15 bucks or 10 bucks at Planet Fitness, right? It's not very expensive, but they have such a huge impact on our life. So crazy how that works. Guys, this is how you feel alive again. This is how you reconnect and have a little bit more meaning in your life. Have a beautiful day.